Esselamu aleyküm ve rahmetullahi ve barakatuh. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Elhamdülillah. Ve salatu ve selamu ala nebiyyihi ve mustafa ve ba'd. Uh, good morning to all of you. And again, I'm sure it's night time in North America. And it's midday in, uh, in Malaysia, in Singapore, in Indonesia. And, and so on. Um, a few hours ago, and before I, I go to sleep, it's actually uh, federal time here, and we just paid federal, alhamdulillah. I got a message, and the message came from the UK, uh, sending me some links to YouTube videos, and some uh, very disturbing images of uh, the flooding in the refugee camps in the north of Aleppo or Idlib in, uh, in Syria. We all know that Syria has been devastated and has been suffering of oppression for decades. But the last decade was indeed the worst. Um, and millions of citizens, millions of Muslim brothers and sisters and their children have been displaced from their homes and literally they're living in tents. Some of them are living in tents in Syria itself, in their own country, after their homes have been demolished and um, um, or bombarded. And some are living in tents and in camps, refugee camps, um, on the borders, whether on the borders with uh, Lebanon, Jordan, uh, or Turkey. And I know um, it is very catastrophic, but recently what I have seen is most catastrophic because of the heavy rain, it flooded. And uh, after I saw the reports, almost 100 of those camps have been drowned in the flood, in the recent flood. Um, I'm going to attach uh, or give you the link to some of these uh, pictures and uh, videos that are very disturbing. But uh, I normally look at it as, God forbid, what if it was me and my family? What if it was me and my one-year-old daughter? And all of a sudden, you know, you're enduring the cold, the snow, the hunger, uh, no education, no health care whatsoever uh, for years, for almost a decade. Then all of a sudden, uh, you wake up from your sleep uh, while you're drowning in water, in dirty water, uh, because it flooded in the camp. If I do not look at it this way, then I'm not a human being. And if I do not look at it this way, then I'm not a Muslim. Then I'm not a Muslim. In the, in, in the sound hadith, the Prophet says, Excuse me. Allah will continue to assist and help his servant as long as this servant is helping and assisting his brother, his sister, uh, his Muslim brothers and sisters. So my dear brothers and sisters, this is definitely urgent and it should be given a priority. I, myself, my family, and on behalf of my late father, may Allah have mercy on him, we must contribute. And you brothers and sisters, we must do whatever we can do in order to rescue our brothers and sisters in the north of um, Aleppo, uh, in Syria. As I said a couple of minutes ago, after I watched the videos and the images, and the report says that over 100 camps, obviously the camp um, consists of, you know, huge number of tents, yani, and each tent is living in a, in a family. Um, I, I believe when I, uh, when I give you the link to, uh, to what I saw, it will soften your heart and it will make us all eager to do whatever it takes to support them. I won't be able to save all the Syrian people. 
I won't be able to save all the uh, Muslims in Myanmar, in Burma, or on the borders of Pakistan and India and in Kashmir. But Allah the Almighty says, لا يكلف الله نفسا إلا وسعها أي نظر آية إلا ما آتاها. Allah won't ask you to do anything beyond your capacity. Only whatever you can afford. I'm not doing fundraise where I'm getting paid for it or I'm taking a piece of that. No, I believe this is my duty towards the rest of the ummah, towards those who are suffering. This is really urgent, brothers and sisters. I'm going to ask a human appeal whom we deal with. They have a neighboring camp. and They're licensed. Human appeal, uh, as I believe, is a British organization. They're licensed. Uh, to work with the United Nations and to work with those who are in in need all over the world. And they have a long experience in Yemen, in Syria, in Pakistan, and in many places in the world. Alhamdulillah, shukrullah. I have seen many of their work. So those people have an access to deliver the immediate help to those who are in need. This is an amana that Allah has entrusted me with that to hold the phone and to present this live urgent appeal so that myself, my family, and you brothers and sisters share their word by spreading the word and by doing whatever we can do in order to rescue and assist our brothers and sisters. Um, when I got up in the morning to pray and it was pretty cold, so I had to wear my, um, you know, my kufi, next scarf um, and, and, and a coat because it's cold, right? And, um, you know, we're still at home. Alhamdulillah wa shukrillah. But when, when you see the images and when you watch the videos where people literally don't have homes, and this is not temporary because, you know, th there was an emergency. No, it's for years, almost one decade. We live in a terrible, terrible world. We're surrounded with oppression everywhere. And, uh, you know, I cannot change the world, but I can do as much as I can in order to give relief and help and immediate help to those who are uh, devastated. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala inspire us to do what is good and to help those who are in need. The urgent appeal now is to assist those who live in intents and their tents and their camps have been flooded with dirty water. And it's been going on for days, and Allah knows how long would it take. So inshallah, I, I don't have an account myself to raise fund, nor do I raise fund to collect it personally and hand it over to those who are in need. I'm not licensed, I'm not entitled, I don't, I don't do that, okay? But those whom I trust, and I know for now they will deliver the help is human appeal out of the uh, UK. So inshallah, let me begin by myself and my family and you brothers and sisters also uh, do your best. That is my message to you this morning. And I'm sorry if I've taken much of your time, but this is my duty before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah increase your wealth. May Allah keep you healthy. Uh, may Allah protect you against every evil. We all know a bunch of ahadith and ayat reminding us that if we do help others, that will protect us in our health, that will protect us against calamities in the, uh, and in our wealth, obviously, it will be a great replacement. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, whatever you spend for the sake of Allah, He's going definitely to replace it. And he's going to give you better than when you spend. And in the hadith, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, صَنَائِعُ الْمَعْرُوفِ تَقِي مَصَارِعَ السُّوءِ Excuse me. The whole world is being tested nowadays. So one of the means of uh, protecting uh, oneself against many of these trials and tests, whether in health or in economy or whatever, uh, is to assist and to help others. Let's say that I don't have the means, or I don't have a credit card, or whatever. Dua, prayer, make lots of dua for them. 
Uh, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give them an immediate relief. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to provide them with shelter, with warmth, with food, with adequate health care and education. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to end the oppression that is happening there and all over the world as soon as possible. Aqulu qawli hada wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum wa sallallahu ala sayyidina muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.